So if I had to hazard a guess, it was you saying that the president-elect lied his blank off that got him to go after you on Twitter. Do you regret saying that? No, I do not. Uh, maybe, you know, the choice of words uh, weren't the best, but uh, the ultimate message was the same. Uh, he didn't tell the truth. Uh, he inflated the numbers, and uh, I called him out on it. That means that you believe that the president-elect knew that the real number was an 1,100 and said that anyway. How do you know that? I, I do not know that to be a fact, but uh, you, you hear all the time how, how much of a skilled negotiator that, that he is, you know, he says about himself. So uh, I've been in a lot of negotiations uh, as a union representative, so uh, I would have to assume that he sure as the world either knew the precise numbers or most certainly should have. Mm. Now, he says that the reality is that you should be thanking him because you failed to keep the jobs there because you're not being effective as a union leader. Fair criticism. Well, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's uh, not listening to everything I've said. A anytime I've talked to the media, uh, one of the first things I've said is I thank him very much uh, for getting involved and help save the 800 jobs that are going to remain here in Indianapolis. Uh, the people, uh, we are very grateful for what he did. So uh, he's uh, not listening to that.